I'm looking for a brand new start I know I got some trouble getting over you I think that I've played my part I need to get away somewhere far from you I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket Run away by myself for a minute I don't have, I don't have any limits Ooh, ooh I'm looking for a place where I can feel alive Where I can let you go and just be for a while I got you on my mind for the time No, I'm a buy, ooh, ooh I hope I'll meet somebody who's better than you That likes me for the things that I say and I do You could do better than wasting time with me And I admit it felt so tough Okay, kids homeschool little setup in their room. We do have all of our I Can Read books in there. We're loving those, but we do have some of our papers and drawing pages. And then in here are more like Wilder's bow and arrow and transformers. And then over here is kind of like Delilah's stuffies. They both play with everything, but it's just easier to divide it. Then we have all of our Hot Wheels back there. My mom got me the container to put all the cars in and it's really great. He loves like parking them in the garage at night and then we have magnet tiles and then we have love every toys and then Millie usually plays with the Lincoln log so we have these out right now she is just really loving hey girl hey girl really loving coming in here um, while I get some things done and then she plays in this area then the baby stroller and Wilder's police uniform I'm sure you've seen him wear that but that's always right here so he is ready uh, to go and available whenever he you know wants to be a police officer which is every day so I'm gonna flip the beds turn them over today get new sheets on them and keep going with our little midweek reset uh -huh. Oh, got water on me. I got drinks. Oh, no. Why? Because it's tap water. Sorry. No, those chickens don't want your toe jam in there. Oh. Oh. Getting There's heavy. A There's a bug in there, Mr. Bug. Oh, my gosh. It's getting heavier. Am I getting weaker? I don't know. Uh, is, she looking, is she looking at me? Yeah, she looks at you. Better not be, girl. I'm boss. Can you let your phone be there? Because I want to show you look at it. Peck it. Uh. Okay, let's go fill this bucket up, too. Can you fill this up for Mama? Yes. Yeah. With water? Delilah, you give me the food bucket. Quick. Some nasturtiums. Yay! 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 Golly, stop. Stop. No. No. Golly, stop. 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 Be kind. Stop. I need to get through. I see you puffing up at me. Go and get out of here now. Don't you puff up at me. Don't do it. Why well, shut the water off for me? Don't. Don't. 
garden tour coming your way. Chamomile and lavender. I'm excited. That's like my tea garden there. I also have some other things. I just don't know what they are because I forget. Then we have some flowers coming over here. Usually they're over there. And then the prickly ugly things are actually uh, thistles. So it's really good for us medicinal thistle if you didn't know. And then yarrow, of course, over here coming and it's spreading, which is perfect. And then we have empty beds uh, fertilized with the chicken, uh, I guess, residue, or not residue, you know, the chicken bedding because we use the deep litter method and we have it in this bed too. And then over here, chives, they come up in the spring. I don't know why, but yeah, they're coming up. I need dirt for this bed. We definitely need more dirt in there. And then I, I rotate my bed, so I'm not going to plant the same things, but typically we do tomatoes in here, but we have our strawberries coming through, which is nice. Um, I've never done strawberries before because I've been allergic, so very cool. Uh, the irises, the chickens got to the tops of those, so I haven't seen any blooms, but I'm holding on to hope. Sometimes they pop up. And then we have our roses that will come through. Some of it's dead there, but I'm going to let them bloom and then cut the dead off. We have, uh, what else? Just like a bunch of stuff coming through here. Broccoli, peas, spinach, black rose. We have broccoli, peas, spinach, black rose. We have kale in here. This is going to be a crowded garden, but we are going to uh, transfer some things. And then we moved our celery out here. I just take the butts of the celery and let them root so we can have a new celery plant. Have some lamb's ear here. And then over here, I think um, there's snapdragons and sunflowers. That's usually what comes up here. But as you can see, they got to the tops of those as well. But yeah, I see them all coming through here. So these are snapdragons and then echinacea coneflower right there. And I think that's it. We have vinca vine in here and that usually comes through. And then I need my plant identification because I actually don't know what this is, but it looks fun. So we are going to leave that because it's coming up here as well. It's very possible that it's a weed, but we're just going to go with it and see what it is. All right. So we brought the cucumbers outside. I just think they'll do a lot better out here. So I will cover them at night if it gets too chilly. And then we did bring some flowers outside. So I'm going to create some little, uh, I guess, planters for them out of some dirt that we already have in there. But I feel like this will be a better move for them just because, um, I don't know. It's just getting a little much downstairs. I feel like they could really thrive outside. So fingers crossed for me. If not, you know, like I've said before, seeds are very inexpensive, so it's okay. We will just reseed. We will replant because I plan on direct sowing the rest of these beds and I plan on doing that within the week.
Okay, so I have the dirt that needed some attention right around here and a friend on here recommended soaking it in the sun. You can even sprinkle uh, a little bit of like vinegar on it, I've heard, or cinnamon, but you kind of just want to amend that soil. And I wanted to mention, I never really mention um, people's names when they when I say someone suggested something because I don't know who wants you know their name put out there. So just know that I really do take those comments to heart and I not to heart. I mean, I, I take them seriously and I try and share with the community, but I don't know if you want me to tell people your name or not. So yes, thank you to all my friends that help me and give me positive comments. So over here, we have a sunflower coming in and I knew that was gonna come. They love it. I know some people don't, but it's my favorite. We also have a cucumber right here and that was re that was transplanted, put a little bit of cinnamon in there and went from there. And then we also have some flowers and some flowers over here. So we are going to leave these in the sun and and then if it gets too chilly, I will come out and cover them at night just with um, extra planters here and we should be just fine. And if it hails or tornadoes, then we're definitely going to bring them to the garage. But I transferred them to the pot so I can move them easily in this season of the unknown with the weather. So that is good to go here. And I believe that's all we're going to do in the garden today. We do have a few peppers and things that need to be... I guess transplanted, but that can wait until next weekend. I do plan to do my potatoes though. Um, I don't know if I'll do it in a grow bag. I might, I might do it in a grow bag this year. So have my seed potatoes. Maybe we'll even get that done today. Not sure. It is right around 11 a.m. I have had my coffee. We did some gardening and just had a slow morning, but I am ready for some happy juice. I'm super excited. It is on sale today and tomorrow only. So for those of you that have been waiting, it's a big sale, uh, probably the best you're going to find. So I would get in on it while you can. If you already are buying happy juice, you can upgrade your account and get the sale. So it will be no cost to you to upgrade. It's a free upgrade, uh, but you can also get that sale. So if you ever subscribe and save on, maybe pause it and go ahead and get the sale while you can. If you're new here, I am an affiliate for the company Amari and this is Happy Juice. It's a three strain probiotic gut drink with a little bit of natural energy and a little bit of edge is what they call it to take the edge off. So I used to be an overstimulated mom who kind of just sat frozen. I was looking for something to help me with my mental health that wasn't a pharmaceutical and it led me to this all natural option. So it's non-GMO, which is a big deal for me. It's sugar-free and it's caffeine free. It has lowered my cortisol. It has taken away any painful inflammation I have had. And it's truly a miracle in a glass. I talk about it so much and I feel like a lot of you have seen the change in me in the last five months that I've been drinking it. So I will leave all of the information I did a little dance here. I see. I didn't remember doing that. Um, I will leave all of the information for Happy Juice in the description box, but if you have specific questions about it, please let me know. I can help you out with flavors. I can help you out with the cart, but I promise you it is life-changing and I really think everybody should try it. So let me know uh, what you need in the comments below and go get that sale. So we are doing some landscaping in the backyard. If you're new here, we are selling our home and moving back to rural Pennsylvania where our family lives and we're excited to take you along. So thanks for being here. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life. Show me love, show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love, this is how we got Show me life, show me love, this is how we got Show me love, show me love, show me love. 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 